CV, and in today's video, I'm going to be talking about some of the most disturbing children's toys that were ever put in stores. These were real, these were really gross and weird, and some of these were actually banned because people were not happy with them. By the way, this top really makes me feel like I'm living in the Victorian era. I think it's because of like the puffy sleeves, the velvet, the high neckline. I feel like my name should be Elizabeth. And actually, no joke though, I love that name. If your name is Elizabeth, congratulations. For real, like when I was a kid, I wanted to change my name to Elizabeth. Okay, before we jump right into today's video, I just want to give you another reminder in case you did not see my last video. We have brand new dragon plushies on our website. I am so excited about these. Aside from like our aliens and unicorns, dragon plushies are my literal favorite and they sell out so quickly. Um, so if you guys would like one, we have a cute little sleeping dragon. We have this gorgeous green one. So if you're interested, I have put the links down below in the description. Description. All right guys, so let's hop right into today's video. First we have Gooey Louie. Isn't that name just amazing? So it's no secret that the children's toy industry really likes to put bodily fluids and functions into their toys. I have no idea why. And basically, Gooey Louie is no exception to this weird trend. This toy came out in 1995 and it's a grotesquely plastic head with a bulging nose and eyes to match. Gooey Louie is a game that has children reach up into the nose and extract little green gel boogers from the nostril cavity. And basically, if a tiny fingertip reaches too far into the nose, this green brain will pop out of the top of his head and scare the children. And if you make him do that, you're basically the loser. But there are so many posts from now adults who used to have this toy as a kid and said it was so disturbing, so disgusting. And one person even said that this toy made their mother throw up because it was so gross. So you guys know I had to go online and buy this toy to do on the vlog channel. So that is supposed to be arriving this weekend, so I'm kind of nervous. I'm like really grossed out by bodily functions like burps, farts, boogers, throw up, all that kind of stuff. So I don't know how I'm gonna do with this, but we're gonna try it. All right, next we have Puppy Surprise Plush. Another thing that toy companies like to do for some reason is make like dolls and like stuffed animals give birth. Why? That's exactly why Hasbro decided to develop Puppy Surprise Plush, which was a small dog doll with a hollow stomach. And Puppy Surprise comes with anywhere from three to five puppies in her stomach, which can be birthed from a small opening in her stomach, making it a surprise to the new owner. So this toy is kind of like a surprise when you get it. You have no idea how many puppies is gonna be inside of this dog's stomach. That even sounds weird to say. You can get three to five, and apparently getting five is the most rare. And like, this does does look cute, but I feel like the concept of little children trying to birth puppies is just like a strange concept. Like I, I'm just not about it. By the way, comment down below if you've ever owned any of these toys and did it weird you out or did you actually enjoy them? Okay, next we have My Size Barbie. This was a 38 inch Barbie doll measuring at the average height of a toddler. And this was well over three times as large as an average Barbie doll. It apparently comes with three outfits. It comes with jewelry. It comes with makeup that you can can actually put onto your doll. And one of the main like selling points for this doll that was in like all commercials, in their advertising, they were saying, now you can wear Barbie dolls clothes too. Like you could literally switch your clothes with your Barbie because it was literally the same height as you. It looked just like you. <laughs> While the doll itself might not be the creepiest on this list, you can find frightening my size Barbie tails being moved and left in different places by children. Imagine seeing the silhouette of my size Barbie at night in a completely different place than where you saw it last. Yeah, there are so many stories of people like seeing this doll move around the house, finding it in weird places. No, thank you. I do not want a toy that is my size. I will pass on that. All right, next we have the Siren Head plush toy. Straight from the internet horror depths. This was originally a creepypasta. This Siren Head plush toy was created following the creation of Trevor Henderson's eerie drawing. The drawing featured a large anthropomorphic creature that has two large sirens atop it. According to the creepypasta lore, Siren Head is a predator who lures its victims close by using frightening sounds. Now, thankfully, this toy doesn't make like the sounds. Although I feel like that would be even cooler, like if you squeezed it and it made the noise. But I also hope this plushie had permission from Trevor Henderson to be created. Always make sure you have permission from the artist, folks. Okay, next we have Swing Wing. Swing Wing came out in the 1960s and was originally marketed as being the hula hoop for the head and was a weighted ball 
attached to ribbons. Now the ribbons were attached to this cap that you would put on your head. You would have this strap around your chin and you would literally move your head like this and it would like swing around by the weighted ball. And unfortunately, a lot of kids were injured by this and a lot of kids actually died by using this toy back then. So they had to take this off the market. People were getting like spinal cord injuries, like really major ones, because obviously your neck and your spine is not supposed to move in that motion with something weighted around it. That is some serious damage. I was like watching commercials for this toy and I don't think I could show you because of copyright, but it's actually terrifying. Like it shows like kids like climbing trees while using this and like walking down the neighborhood and like while they're in school, it's so weird. Okay, then we have Moxie Girls Poopsie Pet Dolls. Really? More pooping. I've talked about so many pooping toys and I just can't wrap my head around why these are made. Moxie Girls were reminiscent of brats with their feet that can pop off, their long hair and bulging eyes, and they were originally meant to take over for Bratz dolls. These featured the dolls themselves and their pets, a koala, a bunny, and a unicorn, and the pets poop strange things. So apparently the koala eats and poops rubies, the bunny eats glitter, and the unicorn eats rainbows. So like at least it doesn't look like poop, at least I don't think so. Okay, so if you watching right now, if you've ever owned a toy that poops, why? Why did you want it? Genuinely, tell me why. <laughs> okay, then we have Meanies plush toys. I think I've talked about these briefly before in another video. Meanies were created in 1997 and lasted until 2000 and featured a 12 animal release that was meant to mirror Beanie Babies, but instead of relying on the cute factor that most Beanie Babies relied on, Meanies relied on the darkly humorous, providing toys called Splat the Roadkill Cat and Bart the Flatulent Elephant. Um, yeah, these were just really, really weird and disturbing plushies. I feel like they don't compete with Beanie Babies at all. Beanie Babies are way better. Okay, then we have the Crazy For You Teddy Bear. This bear was released just in time for Valentine's Day in 2005 and featured a teddy bear wearing a white straight jacket with a small red heart embroidered above the tied up arms. Unsurprisingly, people were really upset when this toy was released as advocates for the mentally ill protested the insincerity of the toy. So they actually had to stop the production of this toy, they had to take it out of stores because people were so offended by it. Not only is this toy tone deaf to people who are mentally ill, but it's far from romantic, making it almost creepy because nothing says love the way a straitjacket does, right? Anyways guys, those are all of the weird toys I'm going to be talking about today. I'm thinking of making another video about disgusting toys because if you thought Gooey Louie was gross, oh boy, there's a lot more. So if you want me to make that video, give this video a thumbs up and let me know. And don't forget if you would like one of our new dragon plushies, I have linked them down below, but I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye!